Hello. Hi. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how Shane goes to the bathroom while I'm gone. Oh. A lot of people have asked how he does that. We're going to talk about it. It begins with a large bucket. <laughs> no, I mean, the fact of the matter is that I don't really use the bathroom. My hand is not home unless I have an accident. <laughs> Um, I don't have a way, as of right now, to use the bathroom without someone's assistance. And so, it's really a matter of planning when I'll use the bathroom throughout the day in, uh... In accordance with our schedule. Yeah. <laughs> Before I leave for school every day, Shane and I will sort of decide when I'll come home. So, like, I'll have work, then I'll have a break, then I'll have class, and we'll decide if I should come home between work and class or class and whatever. Yeah. And typically, I mean, I use the bathroom right when I wake up and most days I don't have to go again until like dinner time. Yeah. So it's not like you're having a humble often, but like yeah. if I have a few coffees that morning, I might like I might do that on a day that I know him is available to come home yeah. for an hour in between. Or things. It doesn't take an hour for him to pee, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, and then same thing with number two. I kind of just plan out when I will do that based around our schedules. And I'm lucky that I am able to kind of like plan my poops. It, it reminds me of like meal prep. Yeah. It's like poop prep. So we just plan out like, oh, we have a lot of time on Wednesday night, so... I'll do them, and then I'll do them Thursday night or Friday yeah. morning or whatever. And then today, Shane woke up, and he was like, I have to poop. And it wasn't ready yet. So he was like, do you think you can come home between work and class to help me poop? And I was like, sure. Yep. Yeah. We sent some video of that if you want to see it. Yeah. Obviously you do. So although we do plan when Shane's going to go to the bathroom, there is the question of what happens if you have an emergency, an unexpected emergency. Yes. Thankfully, there have not been many moments in my life where bathroom emergencies have occurred. You have a strong gut. I do. And I, it's like a, a force of will when I do really have to go and I don't have an option because I really don't have an option. If someone's not available to come help me, I don't have a way of going on my own. Yeah, unless you just bite the bite the bullet and go right there. Bite the chair. bullet, and that there has been like I can count on one hand, and they were all earlier in life. The number of times when I've had, you know, an accident. An accident. Yeah. Much earlier in life. Yeah, yeah I was a kid. You no, haven't no, like no. pooped your pants. Not, no. Like, no. just saying you can count one hand the number of times you've pooped your pants is not, that's not sufficient. Like, I would never say that because, like, I'm sure I wet the bed when I was younger, but I'm not going to be like, I can count on one hand the number of times I've wet the bed. I met when I was a kid, like, younger. <laughs> and it flies recent. And so, yeah, it's really a matter of, like, kind of hoping that that never happens and planning out my days. That, that has happened to Shane, an emergency where he would have pooped himself, but it's only happened overnight. Twice in our three years of being together, Shane has woken me up in the middle of the night to have emergency ba a bathroom visit. We should try to refrain from using the P word. It's probably going uh, to make the algorithm not like your yeah. video as much. Um, I actually have a chapter about one of those bathroom emergencies in my upcoming book. Yeah. Um, a moment when I will have just like feverish with having to go so badly. I was trying to get out of bed to, to help him and he was like, I need you to stop moving right now. Stop moving. I was like, do not move a muscle, but also get, me, get me out of the toilet right now. Oh, but that's in his book. You'll have to read about it.
For going pee, people have suggested using diapers. They've suggested catheters, like condom catheters. Shane has actually tried condom catheters. Yeah. We tried those like two years ago. Uh, it doesn't I, work because of the angle that he sits at. Yeah, and I can't really describe that in a very accurate way for you, but... Well, you have to pee, and it goes through a tube into a bag, but because Jane sits with, like, his knees up, the pee would have to travel upward. And it doesn't. And it doesn't. It just has So it would sit in the condom part of the so catheter. So just know that I did give that a real uh, solid effort, yeah. a solid try. One time. And, and like, uh, it didn't work. It, no, it was it gross. Was, yeah, it... Backed up, we'll say. Uh, I mean, diapers are, if I was having issues the all the time where I had to go, then that might be something to listen to. But right now, we just organize it and it works for us. Yeah. I mean, you could do that too. Like, if I think about it, I could be like, I'm going to go pee on my way to my next class. Like, yeah. I could, like, plan about too. You just don't normally do that. Yeah. But it is doable. Or you don't give it the kind of thought that we give it. Yeah, know? exactly. It's just mindless. Yeah. In the future, if Hannah has a job that requires her to be out of the house all day long, every day of the week, there are other options as well. I can hire someone to come help me use the bathroom yeah. or, you know, set up a schedule of helpers that can come do it. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah. we just don't need that right now. Yeah, right now our situation is good, and I haven't had any emergencies yet, not on wood. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's how Shane goes to the bathroom, or does not, while I'm gone. Yeah, I hold it. Yep, thank you. Bye. Why is it your ass? No, wait, a camel. Camels hold their pee oh for God. a long time.